360 no scope. It's the god. What? I die? Hello and welcome to Wednesday. Today we'll be looking at Dr. Mario. This is gonna be sick. You know, cause sick, cause, cause doctor, cause. Dr. Mario! What is there to say about Dr. Mario? No, seriously, what on earth is there to say about Dr. Mario? See this? This is it! This is the entirety of Dr. Mario! I thought the Donkey Kong episode was gonna be sparse with only three levels! Dr. Mario only has one level! And there's not even that much to say about it! We have a bottle and Mario is throwing pills into it. Line up four things of one color, they disappear. You gotta kill the viruses. I mean, it's a fun enough game, and music is some of the best I heard. I love this song. Doctor, 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 doctor Mario. What on earth is this sound? I'm not gonna do the whole song, but I really need to make this video longer. You know, my sister's a microbiologist. I'm gonna play this game with her, and I'm gonna tell you what she tells me about this game compared to real microbiology. All right, so I played with my sister watching. I thought I was recording audio as well, but I wasn't. So I can't tell you any of the really smart stuff she said, but the main takeaway is these are not viruses. Viruses are not alive. You don't kill them by throwing medicine at them. Also, they aren't your bacteria. They might be parasites, but they are not viruses. Also, Dr. Mario maybe should be wearing a hazmat suit for this. Also, if he's a pharmacist, this is by far the worst way to distribute pills. But my biggest takeaway from the playthrough with her is a straight up dark game theory. A game theory that she disproved while reading the script, but you're not a microbiologist, so you won't be able to see the flaws with it. Hello, Internet, and welcome to Lane Theory. I'm not good as writer as Matt Pat, but there is a pretty neat and dark theory about Dr. Mario. You think the good plumber hung up his plunger to save lives? No way. What's happening in Dr. Mario is some world-destroying pandemic-level things. Let me explain. So in Dr. Mario, you have a bottle full of three different colored viruses. Might be good for a puzzle game, but what this means with real viruses is terrifying. Because viruses aren't usually found in bottles, they're usually found in living things. So what this means is that Dr. Mario has likely done is taken three very different viruses and isolated them. The main reason you would want to isolate a virus instead of just kill it off is to store it for later to study or to create a vaccine if necessary. Or to create something else. And the very last thing you'd want to do with viruses is mix and match them like you're trying to find the hot new spring outfit for the first day of school. This is actually how we got swine flu. You see, a strain of the human flu and a strain of the bird flu got into a pig. When they were hanging out inside of the pork chop, the avian flu sang her siren song and attracted the human flu over. Then they reproduced in the same cell and made a super flu known as swine flu, which my sister said wasn't really all that bad, but the fact still stands. You mix viruses together, you get a super virus. So Dr. Mario has added three viruses into a bottle. The only reason you would want to do that is to make a super virus capable of causing lots of problems if they get out. But Chet, you say, Mario is throwing pills into the bottle, killing the viruses. Surely he isn't hell-bent on killing everyone. And that, my friends, is why I'm even more sure that Dr. Mario is doing something truly insidious. Maybe just one level would make sense. Some stupid doctor in the lab accidentally added the virus together, and Mario is using the medicine to eradicate it before it grows into a super virus? But no. After every level, Dr. Mario comes back with a bottle full of more and more viruses, and then he throws more and more medicine in them. But the reason why this is scary is called antibiotic resistance. It reminds me of this one disease. It's called methicillin resistant Staphylococcus arceus. Um, get, Nicole, get down here! Methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Yeah, that! Fortunately, it's got a name for stupid people like me. It's called a superbug. A superbug is when a bacteria or a virus mutates to become immune to antibiotics, which is the reason Mario is adding all these viruses and vaccines. Well, either that or he's trying to give the viruses autism. But I think the plan here is to create a three-pronged super virus immune to treatments. If you're like me and you end up losing by stacking all the viruses to the top, that's it. 
it's over. The doctor has just doomed the world. He's combined three viruses and got them all super bugged up and all ready to go. All he has to do now is make sure he can get the virus onto Madagascar and bingo bango bongo, total human extinction. GG, no re. But hey, that's just a theory. A lame theory. Thanks for watching. So, that's Dr. Mario. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and uh, I hope you like my new house. This is, this is the new setup. What do you think? Anyway, next week's episode will be in my old house where I'll be tackling... Excite Bike.